everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Arma and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh. And today I'm giving a mini lecture from my apartment in Manhattan on confidence. This is a great lecture because it's one of those things that you can utilize in anything that you do in life. Now I happen to trade, I day trade, and I also teach people my trading method. However, let's just say you are not even a trader. You could be doing anything, any career. Having the right mindset and being a very confident person helps you to achieve the goals that you set out that you want to accomplish in life. And also, it is good to be optimistic, okay? And when you feel confident in yourself, it helps you to be more positive to go through life. And obviously, things come up, things happen. And every once in a while, something happens where something tries to just stab at your confidence. And if your confidence isn't really solid and intact like a brick, then these little things that try to chip away at your life can really chip away your confidence. And over time, it can go from here to just completely downhill. So we're going to lecture today a little mini lecture on confidence. Okay. Now, what is confidence? Confidence is a full trust, belief in the powers, trustworthiness, or reliability of a person or thing. It's a belief in oneself and one's powers or abilities, self-confidence, self-reliance, self-assurance. Confidence in yourself is essential in order to be successful. Whether you want to be a successful trader or whether you want to be a successful business owner or whether you want to be successful even in your relationships, okay? Because you know what the worst thing is for you in romantic or personal relationships or friendships is to be not a confident person where you're almost like oh, clingy, 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 clingy. You want to be confident, confident that the relationship, the friendship, the business relationship, the romance is strong and good. Okay. Also, you need to feel confident if you're a trader, okay, that the market can provide the income you desire. And if you are not a trader, you still need to feel confident that the universe can provide the income for you desire in the chosen field of career that you choose, whatever that happens to be whether you are a hairstylist or a makeup stylist, whether you are a news reporter, whether you are a teacher, whether you are a trader, anything that you do, you have to feel confident that the universe will provide for you the income you desire to pay your bills, take care of your responsibilities, and still have time to do some other things for leisure to enjoy your life. So what do you really need confidence in? You need confidence in yourself, okay? When you start out into the world from the day that you were born, you were born this beautiful baby, okay? If you think all the way back to the beginning. And what happens is as life goes on and we grow up and we get small and then we get bigger and time goes on. And as the years pass by, really, the way it's supposed to work is that our lives get better and we get stronger as human beings and we become more evolved and more intelligent and more confident. Instead, what seems to happen on the planet, I'm generalizing here, but to many, many people, is that as the years go on, things keep chipping and eating away at our confidence, like I'm telling you about, because things come up in life. And sometimes what it is, we give our power away to other people or circumstances or even our finances, and that hurts our own confidence, okay? And we don't want to do that because, again, we're working against ourselves if we are not feeling good about ourselves and confident about who we are and what we want to achieve in our lives. Confidence is similar to conviction, which is a word I use a lot. Confidence is similar to conviction and that is a strong, strong belief. Trading or being successful in your business endeavors in life with confidence means that you are acting without fear. And not only that, without hesitation. When you are acting with confidence, this allows you to focus on exactly what you are supposed to be doing, okay, rather than being concerned with fear. It means making decisions and discernment with the correct level of information and integrity with yourself. Knowing who you are, knowing exactly what you desire, and having your best interests at heart. This is not a selfish interest, okay? I'm not talking about 
that kind of self-interest. I'm talking about being in integrity with who you are, knowing who you are, what you want to accomplish for the good of your own life, for your larger purpose and others around you. Okay? When you are confident, you have a lot of conviction, this conviction helps you to overcome obstacles as they come up in life. And I think that is very important because what happens is as time goes on, like I said, if we allow these things that come up in our life to start to creep in and eat into our confidence level, it hurts the conviction, it hurts our overall purpose, we get sidetracked, okay? And then we have to get back on track then we have to work even harder to get the confidence back up again and get back on track. And it's not like it's one of those things that you just like have it and you have it forever and ever and ever and you never have to think about it again. Having confidence and having conviction, all of these things you have to constantly, constantly, constantly be keeping it steady, keeping it strong, steady as she goes kind of thing, okay? And in fact, people who are confident and, tr and trained and accomplish their goals in life, with conviction, okay, are worlds apart from people who do not. Worlds apart. And this is what separates the people that are successful from the people that are not. People that are achieving their goals in life from people who are not. You've got to be a confident person in this world. You've got to live your life with conviction and start to build this within yourself each and every day. And it is a building it up. It is a process. And you get stronger and stronger and stronger. And on. And that's the way it's supposed to be rather than the opposite, which again is what happens with many people as we go through life and we have obstacles or things that come up or things that happen that we don't expect and sometimes they're not even our fault, but we have to regroup. We have to stay strong. Successful people in this world who accomplish their dreams and goals and make millions of dollars are confident and they have conviction in themselves and their choices and the decisions that they make and the words that they say and what they do with their life, okay? Many people lack trust in themselves. It's really a lack of confidence. If you don't trust yourself, you're in this level of uncertainty, and guess what? It goes back to that same old bugaboo, which is this idea of fear, because you lack trust in yourself and you go into the fear mode, okay? 100% conviction means you believe or you know and you have confidence in yourself and 100% conviction and you're not afraid. You're not afraid to take a train. You're not afraid to take the action. You're not afraid to take the leap, to take a class, to do something different, to change careers maybe, to fall in love with someone, to move to a different state or a different city if that's what your dream is, to go somewhere, to do something different, okay? You never know what your life could be if you don't proceed and move forward with it. And what happens is, again, fear can hold us back. When you are confident and you have conviction, you can make the choices that you need to make for your highest self. So it's very important to keep your confidence high, to do everything you can to strengthen that within yourself, to keep the conviction and the momentum going so that when things happen, they don't chip away at you. And things may still happen, but if you're staying strong, you recognize it and see it in the moment, you can pull yourself back into yourself and say, wait a minute, and stay strong and get on the path. And then as time goes on, you will get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger every day. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and today's little lesson on confidence. I'm Melissa Armo, which is me, or the Stock Swish, or would like to learn how to train or take my Golden Gap class. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.